Toyota has just unveiled the brand new Grand Highlander at the Chicago Auto Show. All right, welcome to the Motormouth YouTube channel. I'm Andrea. And I'm Zach, and we do these kinds of reviews on a regular basis. So it'd be really cool if you could subscribe and also yeah. follow along on Instagram. So what do we know about the Grand Highlander? Well, first of all, it is more grand. It's bigger, right? Yeah, it is bigger. We are gonna get into the specs. Toyota hasn't given us all of the dimensions, but we do have overall cargo capacity and you might be surprised by what it competes with. We don't also have the official fuel economy and the pricing. Mm -hmm. That will come as this vehicle comes closer to its on sale date. But we do have a lot of information to give you and images to show you, so let's get into it. The Grand Highlander is available with three powertrain options and standard all-wheel drive. A 2.4 liter turbo gas engine, a 2.5 liter hybrid, and a hybrid max powertrain with 362 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. All three powertrains come with three drive modes, sport, eco, and normal. Three multi-terrain select modes are standard on the gas and hybrid max models, mud and sand, rock and dirt, and snow. The hybrid max powertrain can tow 5,000 pounds, which is similar to what the Hyundai Palisade and Kia Telluride can tow. So let's dig into this Grand Highlander for a moment. One yeah. thing you have to remember, on the Lexus side, they have already announced that they are going to have a larger three-row luxury Lexus vehicle. Hmm. Yeah. I bet you it's going to be based on this Grand Highlander. Mm -hmm. And then you look at Toyota Lexus and they're sharing engines. And I think that's exactly what's happening here. Yeah, when you look at the NX gas model, the 350, as well as the RX 350, we know that it has a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder with an eight speed automatic transmission. They get 275 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque. We know that this is probably going to be the same. We might see those horsepower numbers change a bit. We don't know exactly yet. And then you go into the 2.5 liter hybrid system. Well, yeah. we've seen that already in the regular Highlander and we've seen it already in the Lexus RX. So that is a vehicle that is going to probably have the larger RX electric motor mm -hmm. compared to the regular Highlander. And it does have more power on the Lexus side. I'm guessing that's what's in this as well. And then you get to the big one, which is the combination of the 2.4 liter turbo and the hybrid system. Yeah. We've seen that also announced in the Lexus RX. RX, and I suspect this is going to be a detuned version of that. Well, they've given us the horsepower and torque numbers of that model, and we know it's a little bit less than the RX, uh, but great power in that torque number. Yeah, the other thing is they'll keep the more powerful version for the Lexus. Remember, another one's coming, and it's going to have a Lexus badge on it. Yeah. So this is the Grand Highlander. So is it grander? Well, Toyota has released the overall cargo capacity numbers coming in at around 98 cubic feet of space, which is 2,775 liters. What does that compare to? The Hyundai Palisade and the Kia Telluride for overall cargo capacity is 87 cubic feet so we know this is bigger in fact we just had the latest toyota sequoia body on frame suv yeah. and this new grand highlander because it has a much better folding seat configuration is actually the interior volume is greater than the body on frame toyota sequoia now andrea has done some digging and the closest in overall size on the inside is what is the volkswagen atlas it gets 96.8 cubic feet of overall overall cargo capacity, this Grand Highlander beats it by a little bit. So my feeling is that this Grand Highlander, although we don't have all the official dimensions, I feel like it's going to be the size of the Volkswagen Atlas and that is big. All right, now let's get into the seats in a moment. First of all, I want to touch on the way it looks. Mm. I think this looks like a big pumped up on steroids RAV4. We actually had the RAV4 in the exact same color as this blue yeah. launch model and to me, it looks RAV4-ish. I totally agree. I see like a long RAV4, although Toyota says the front is inspired by the Highlander. I also see a Lexus vibe to that front grille, which makes a lot of sense if Lexus is going to be coming out with a three-row SUV. You can bet it's going to be similar. All right, and then the side profile, we talked about the Atlas a moment ago, and the shape of the wheel arches, mm -hmm. and from the side, it does, does it have a bit of an Atlas 
Balance 5, I think it does. It may be moving a little bit more domestic looking, and, and that's really uh, the trend in this size of vehicle. This comes standard with 18-inch wheels, but available 20-inch wheels on the two higher trims. You can tell that Toyota has elevated the interior of the Grand Highlander compared to the Highlander. It comes standard with a 12.3-inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and an available 12.3-inch digital driver display. The configurable center console can fit a tablet with the internal tray removed and also features a wireless charger, two USB ports, and three cup holders, including one capable of holding a larger water bottle. Second row passengers are treated to either a bench seat on the base model and of course available captain's chairs. In the third row, Toyota says an adult will fit back there and there are individual USB ports. When you add up all of the cup holders over all three rows, there's 13 cup holders and seven USB-C charge ports. So we did mention in there, there's a base model with a bench seat in the second row. So how many trims are available? So there's three trims available, XLE, Limited, and Platinum, and that's the same across all three powertrains. The XLE trim gets Softex upholstery, heated power front seats, a heated steering wheel, a 7-inch multi-information display, a wireless charger, and a power lift gate. The limited trim adds power folding side view mirrors, LED fog lamps, LED daytime running lamps, leather seating, driver seat memory, a 12.3-inch digital driver display, heated and ventilated front seats, a panoramic sunroof, ambient lighting, heated rear seats, and a power lift gate with kick sensor. If you get the Platinum trim, you add features like puddle lamps and paddle shifters for the gas model and the hybrid max model. You also get heated and ventilated second row seats, a head-up display, panoramic view monitor, and a digital rear view mirror. Now there aren't a lot of interior color options. You get black soft tax or black leather, and then that hybrid max trim, it's an ultra suede combo leather trim interior, and it comes in portobello or black. It's kind of similar to what they do at Acura with the mm -hmm. RDX A-Spec. They put that Alcantara strip. That's kind of what they're doing. Safety is covered on this model. It gets the Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, and there's actually a new safety feature called proactive driving. Toyota says when system operating conditions are met using the vehicle's camera and radar, the system provides gentle braking into curves and gentle braking and or steering to help support driving tasks such as distance control between a preceding vehicle, pedestrian, or bicyclist. So we're going to wrap it up here. We have a couple of things to add. I think, Andrea, first and foremost, I think it looks good. Mm. I think they did a good job on the styling, and everyone's going to love the space. Oh, man, I am so excited about this. I can't wait to get inside it, feel the materials, check out the third row leg room. Uh, we all know overall cargo capacity is very good. Toyota is also adding a three-year free trial of Remote Connect service. So with that, you can remote start your Grand Highlander. All right, the other thing that we want to look at is the powertrain. So we have to applaud Toyota for coming out with the turbo gas. That's exciting yeah. for some people. Then the good old efficient hybrid and then that new hybrid system they have in the RX that combines the turbo and uh, the hybrid system. So a lot of power and this is the warm up, guarantee it. Yeah. for what's to come from Lexus. So pricing and the on-sale date will be announced sometime in the summer. So we look forward to sharing all of that information with you. All right, so what do you think of the Grande Highlander? <laughs> hmm? What do you think of that? Uh, would it be on your shopping list? Would mm. you look at a Palisade, a Telluride, maybe a Grand Highlander? What do you yeah. think? I think that this is needed in the market from Toyota. So I'm happy to see this new SUV coming soon. Type below. Let us know what you think and we'll see you in the next one.